going on family it's brother coasty at ialg.com and today's topic is all about you and you are a block of marble you are a stone waiting to be shaped and there's only two things that can shape you yourself or the world around you and most people are being shaped by the world around them your job your charge your mission is to shape yourself and the only way you can begin shaping yourself is by realizing that there is an essence within you that is able to drive you forward and to be able to shape the marble that you are. Let's go to the board real fast. This box is not you. This is you. This core, that's you. That's essence and that's presence. This, this box around you, because the essence seeks to, to expand and it's infinite, it will fill up whatever container that it's placed in. So it fills up this whole container, right? It fills it up, and since it fills it up, you feel it. You feel it, right? The mistake that happens typically when we're children is that our parents don't correct us, and they actually enforce it along with the rest of society that the box is you. The body is you. The body is not you. The body is a container. The body is a form. You are essence. You are what, that which powers the body family, you are able to sculpt the body into a vehicle that you would like to have. That's the key. That's the secret. You have to bring, you have to bring your energy back into the center, into the core, because the rest of this stuff is a distraction. It distracts you from realizing you are the essence, you are the core, you are not the body, you are not the form. This is an important thing to recognize and remember, family, because if you don't recognize and remember it, you will always be distracted by upkeeping the form instead of putting all your attention and your focus on the essence, that which powers the form, okay? So this is the power source. You can think of your form more like an antenna, right? And it, it's, it's sending radio waves out. And it's sending all these radio waves out and it's attracting that at the same frequency that it's putting out. The form itself isn't putting out the frequency. The essence is putting out the frequency. But when you forget that, you allow the body, the form, to create its own frequency. And the body and the form can be uh, um, manipulated and changed and transmuted to put out things that are not in alignment with your highest good. All the marketing, all the things you listen to, all the things that you're around, the air, the environment, all these things in this society are conditioning the body to operate at a less than optimal frequency. And when you're tapped into the body in that capacity, your frequencies is negative crap. And whatever you put out comes back. And that's what you're going to experience. You got to realize that, that you're making your experience by the frequency that you put out for the most part. Especially as children, we really don't always get to choose the frequency that we're bringing into. Sometimes it's a byproduct of just being in this, this, this um, multivariable reality, okay? But as you get older and you recognize things and you, you have to broaden your awareness, you have to realize that you are the essence, you are the source, and you get to create this frequency. The moment you realize that you can create this frequency is the moment you begin to take control of your reality. You can become the creator. You can begin co-creating the world around you and the world around us, family. That's key. That's the most important thing. Tap into your essence. How do you tap into your essence? You need to meditate. You need to just cut out the distractions. If you like help, as always, visit IALLG.com. Book a time for us to talk. Let's conversate. It costs nothing to you except for a little bit of your time and your effort and your presence. I look forward to speaking with you all soon. Peace.